Hi guys, it's Jordan here and welcome to another episode of Hopi Learn and Earn. So Hopi Learn and Earn is a series where you get to learn about cryptocurrencies and at the same time stand chance to win giveaways. So there will be a link in the description down below where you can join our giveaway. In today's episode, we'll be talking about scams, specifically scams that can happen to you in the crypto space. And as a reminder, never give away your passwords to any strangers that you meet on the internet. And if you have a wallet, do not ever give out your seed phrases to anyone. So in the time that crypto has been around, scams are the number one way that people lose their tokens or coins to these bad players. And as crypto continues to get even more popular, these scams will evolve and become even more sophisticated as well. Hence, you always have to stay vigilant to keep your coins safe. There are four main kinds of scams that can happen in the crypto space. These bad players will pose as support of the particular project or exchange, and subsequently, they will get you to deposit tokens in return for more tokens, or to get you to surrender your seed phrases of which they will be able to access your wallets to take your funds. So there are four main kinds of scam here, which is the exit scam, the airdrop scam, the phishing scam, and the pump and dump. The exit scam is one of the most common scams that you'll see in the space. The exit scam is basically a scam that involves a project or basically a token founder raising funds for a particular project. As tokens are sold for Ethereum, the founder will collect this if and maybe run the projects for a couple of weeks. Subsequently, the founder will close or exit the project with the funds that were raised, leaving investors with a bag of tokens with no inherent value. This can happen with token projects or exchanges which are raising funds. So for example, like Tordex, the investor Oza disappeared after raising funds from investors. So many of us would love to have a free airdrop. So essentially an airdrop is like free money falling into your account. Usually these airdrops are given to investors when they purchase a token or if they lock up token for a certain period of time in a platform. So the scam works in this manner. The new project will usually allocate a portion of the token supply to be distributed to investors. And by doing so, it allows the token project owners to get a mass audience with the pretense of giving out free cryptocurrencies. When a person is interested in getting free airdrops, they will be asked to submit personal information like your private keys, seed phrases, to be eligible to receive these airdrops. And in some cases, investors will be told to purchase more tokens to a certain threshold to receive additional bonus airdrops. So these parties will definitely get the airdrop tokens, but these tokens might have very little or to no value as compared to the information that the scammers have obtained or the private keys that were acquired. So the Omisego or OMG airdrop scam was one of the largest scam in the history of crypto. OMG was supposed to be airdropped in September 2017, but it got postponed. Following that, scammers took this opportunity creating fake Twitter handles, Telegram group chats, fake forum threads, and fake websites, tricking unsuspecting users into submitting their private keys. And it was reported that more than 300 ether was lost to these scammers. So as scams get more and more sophisticated, phishing scam is the one that many investors fall for. In this scam, the scammer will disguise as a legit entity or a trusted source, deceiving the victim into thinking that his or her account has been hacked or compromised. Subsequently, the victim will be brought to a fake site where it resembles the legit entity. The victim is then prompted to change sensitive information like a password or 2FA, of which the scammer can access the victim's account to perform malicious transactions. And it's reported that such scams have rose more than 1000% in recent times and cost investors more than $80 million. Lastly, we have the pump and dump. During a token offering or a token sales, investors exchange their cryptocurrencies for the new token. The project owner or the project team will share in their white paper how many tokens will be released for sale, how many will be set aside for future development, and so on. So most projects will have a soft cap and a hard cap of how much funds they will be raising, and often whales will enter this space to buy up majority of the tokens, which leaves very little for investors who truly support the project. And upon exchange listings, the whales will send signal to various social media groups, indicating that this token is a buy because it's undervalued, of which it has a potential to spike in the next couple of months. And with social media being the main channel of distribution, many might just blindly follow without any research and end up purchasing these tokens. Following that, as the price of the token increases, these whales will start dumping the tokens, 
leaving investors with tokens that are worth a lot less than what they have paid for. So smaller investors are on the losing side of this because they are not able to leverage on ground floor prices when the tokens were released. And this is very prevalent with small cap tokens where tens of thousands of dollars will be able to move token prices by 20 to 50%. So this wraps up the list of the most common scams that you'll come across when you're involved in the crypto scene. As a last reminder, do not give anyone your passwords or seed phrases to prevent yourself from ending up as a victim. So don't forget to join our giveaway, drop us a like, subscribe, and stay notified for the next episode of 4P Learn and Earn. And it's Jordan signing out.